It's been a little while since we last looked at Rockwell Drive, but things have been moving along very nicely indeed. You always said we were the good ones. Pouring the concrete of the seventh floor took place on the 16th. Like an the day before, the very skilled and highly organized crew had battled reasonably severe winds to place the fly forms ready for the pour. It speaks volumes of the crew's commitment that even as concrete was poured on one end of the structure, reinforcing rod was still being delivered and laid on the other. It probably goes without saying, but there's a lot of concrete involved. With all the activity on the top deck, it's easy to overlook the fact that finishing work is taking place on the lower floors. We can come right up to date with a look at the end of this week. Even as the pumper arm was extended, fly forms were moving to take their place on the eighth floor in preparation for laying the ninth. Concrete forms for the remaining walls on the eighth floor were also in motion. Creature comforts should never be overlooked, especially when they avoid the need to go all the way to the ground and back. Pouring walls at one end was accompanied by building them at the other. It's worth noting that the surface on which the workers stand is the fly form that will be the next ninth floor. The periforms that contain the concrete are of a special material, but additionally, they are sprayed down with a releasing agent before each placement. Thanks for watching this update. And if you enjoyed it and found it interesting, please consider subscribing.